Hello class, this is section 7.3 and in this video we are going to work out an inverse Laplace transform problem of a fraction whose partial fraction decomposition has an irreducible quadratic factor. And the first step is to write down that partial fraction decomposition, so s plus 1 over s4 minus 81. This is going to be equal to minus 1 over 18 times s plus 1 over s squared plus 9 plus 1 over 54 times 1 over s plus 3 plus 1 over 27 times 1 over s minus 3. And so, writing down the inverse Laplace transform of the s plus 1 over s4 for minus 81 term, this is the same as minus 1 for 18, Laplace inverse of s plus 1 over s squared plus 9, plus 1 over 54 times the Laplace inverse of 1 over s plus 3, plus 1 over 27 times the Laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 3. So for the second two terms, s plus 3 and s minus 3, those are pretty easy to solve, so we consult the table. And we see that this term works, the EAT term works for a equals plus 3 or a equals minus 3. So that gets us um, E3T. So this Laplace inverse transform is going to be equal to 154 e minus 3t because it's s minus minus 3 plus 1 over 27 times e 3t. So these last two are were pretty easy to solve and so the hard part is going to figure out the inverse Laplace transform of s plus 1 over s squared plus 9. So let's look at our options. And we can see in the table that the closest thing would have to be the Laplace transforms of the trig functions cosine and sine. Because if you get if you set k equals three, we would get s squared plus nine in the denominator like we want. However, we don't we have an s plus one term instead of an s term, so this is going to require a bit of work. So let's write this down. So clearly, this is equal to Laplace inverse of s over s squared plus 9 plus Laplace inverse of 1 over s squared plus 9. And that's a start because we can see already that s over s squared plus 9 is, cosi is the Laplace transform of cosine 3t. So this is just going to be cosine 3t. But we still have to figure out this other term, 1 over s squared plus 9. So looking at our table, we have that the best thing would probably have to be k over s squared plus k squared, again with uh, k equals 3. But this gets us 3 over s squared plus 9, which is pretty close, pretty close. The Laplace inverse transform of 1 over s squared plus 9 is going to be equal to, we want the 3 in the numerator, remember. So what we do is that we divide by 1 over 3rd, and we have a 3 in the numerator. And this gets us exactly what we want. So setting k equals 3, it gets us sine 3t equals 1 third sine 3t. And this means that the Laplace inverse transform of s plus 1 over s squared plus 9 is equal to cosine 3t plus 1 third sine 3t. And plugging that back in to our original equation, 
we get that the Laplace inverse transform of s plus 1 over s4 minus 81 is just going to be minus 1 over 18 times cosine 3t plus 1 third sine 3t plus 1 over 54e raised to the minus 3t plus 1 over 27e raised to the 3t.